Hey guys, I'm Evan. Welcome to Country View Acres. So today we're continuing to clean out this fence row right here. And uh, I know a lot of people are probably cringing because they're seeing me use that grapple and just ripping through some of these small trees right here. But the thing you probably don't see, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, there's a power line that goes right above here. So you can't have trees on 20 feet on each side of that power line. So we're not gonna have any trees right through this section anyway. We're just gonna go ahead and cut them all out. Um, if I did have trees there, the power company would get to come in here and trim them. And I don't want their heavy equipment driving through our pastures. And this is gonna end up being a pasture when we're done. So instead of that happening, we're just gonna keep the trees clear of the power lines. So this tree right here, it is gonna stay this one's going to go, and all of these are going to go all the way down to that tree right there. So all of this is going to go. We're just going to take a brush hog through here, and we're just going to start knocking this down. But I need to go through here first, make sure there's no pieces of metal mixed in here. I do see there is a metal T-post right here embedded in all of that. There's a metal T-post. I haven't seen any more, but I want to double check before we run this brush hog through here because that could kill somebody. So far I haven't found any metal, but I, there is a, what looks to be a cedar tree. I don't think I want to run that over. I think I can get this T-post out. Oh, there we go. I'm also trying to get any of these pieces of fence so I don't throw wire everywhere. Well, I think I'm ready to go ahead and use the brush hog and we'll see if we can go ahead and chop up all this small stuff. All right, we're making pretty good progress so far. I think I just want to keep on going with the tractor, keep pulling out posts, keep knocking down some brush while the field is frozen. See, right now you can see I have been going th all through this. I haven't made any tracks because it's frozen today. So here's the ruts we made last time we cleared out brush and some of them are pretty deep. So definitely gonna take advantage of the ground being frozen. So I think these three trees right here, these were too big for the brush hog. I'll cut those out with a chainsaw but we were able to get all this knocked down. Some of this was actually fairly good sized stuff. I probably bit off a little bit more than I could chew. That one's still in the ground a little bit, but you can see I can't even get my, can't even get my hand all the way around it. It's uh, probably a little big. So we're gonna go ahead and continue down the fence line here. We've got a big post here and there, and they've got a wire going across the top of them for like a small gate opening here. I think they're about eight inches in diameter. I think those will be pretty hard to pull. And then as we go down, here is the junk pile back here. It's a little farther down than I remember, but you can see, hopefully you can see, there's um, like an old sleeping bag or blanket, there's boards, there's black pipe, there's old lawn chairs, there's galvanized metal. It's just full of trash. And my goal for today is to get at least down here to where this trash pile is so that we can start cleaning that up.
Well, this section of fence right here, it's actually still standing up and it's still strong enough that the tractor is not getting it to uh, break apart. Instead, it's waiting to just pull it out of the jaws of the grapple. So I forgot my uh, wire cutters. I'm gonna go back and get them. And it looks like we're gonna have to cut this section of fence apart every so many feet. So here we go, eight inch Nipex bolt cutters. These actually work real good for high tensile fence. So should work pretty good on this old stuff. Well, I just knocked the gate off with the tractor. Um, the brush hog actually sticks out the side a little bit. It's actually this side. And it actually stuck out far enough that it hit the gate and uh, caught it. And I smashed it right against the post right here. You can see all the paint on the post from that getting smashed and uh, knocked it off. Oh, I broke the pin too. Like there's the hinge pin. Look at that, broke it. Man, I'll tell you what, I always break something. Anytime I do a job, I always tear something up. It's kind of the nature of the beast. Or maybe it's just my luck. So I know I'm gonna get the comment that it has nothing to do with luck, that I am just careless or something to that effect. And, um, that's the way it is when you put yourself out on the internet. I mean, you're open to all different types of criticism. Uh, so you just kind of got to roll with the punches. You learn to ignore it. But um, I thought I'd just go ahead and, and just put that one out there, right? Just go ahead and say it. And I'd save a bunch of you guys time. And you don't have to write that comment anymore because I already said it. Well, I think we made pretty good progress. We started right here. And then we got this cleared out. Got it cleared out like all the way to there, I think. So we made pretty good progress. Now this isn't perfect by any means. We do have some other trees to cut down in here because i that's too narrow to mow between. So that one will stay out, that tree will stay. That tree is actually way too close to our new fence, so it has to go. And then one of these trees will stay. So we still got some trees to cut down along here, but at least we got it cleaned up pretty good. So besides tearing up the gate, I've been pretty rough on the grapple today and I've actually bent a few things up. So if you look at this, I was trying to get like up underneath trees and I have bent this up. This is the cover that covers up the hydraulic cylinder and I've got it kind of like pushed sideways here. So it's definitely, definitely bent up. I don't know if it'll show up in video, but it is definitely needs straightened out. Now, I thought at first that this one was too, but it actually looks it looks fine now that I look at it. So I think it's just that one. And then I bent the teeth. So the way I try to pull out a post is I try to use this tooth and then each one of these tooth. So I try to grab the post between these three teeth. And you can see this jaw is bent sideways and this jaw is bent sideways. And I've done that before, you know, bent those and I've bent it back. But uh, what I'm thinking is I, 
I think I can beef these up, add more metal to them. So if you look at this bottom tooth, this is actually half inch with another piece of half inch welded to the side. So that bottom tooth is an inch wide. And then this top teeth tooth is only 3 8 inch wide. So this is a lot weaker up here at the top. And the way this grapple is, there's really only three teeth on each one of these jaws. And the reason that what they did that so that this whole thing was a lot lighter. And that's the reason why I ended up buying this grapple is because it, it was lighter and it didn't take away a lot of lifting capacity. And this thing does great on brush and pretty much everything. But when, it, when you want to actually try to grab something small and pull it out like a post, there's not enough teeth on the top side to be able to grab something small. So that's its weak point, I'd say. Other than that, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I am happy with it. It's, it's been a good grapple. I think that I can beef those teeth, teeth up a little bit and I can maybe get it to, uh, maybe it'll pull posts a little bit easier. But uh, some of them were tough. Like I had one that wouldn't pull at all and I had the full lift capacity of the tractor and it would not pull it out of the ground. So uh, we had some tough posts today and uh, the grapple, the grapples took the brunt of it, that's for sure. I did get as far as I wanted to today. Uh, definitely took advantage of the ground being frozen. That helped out a bunch. Um, maybe not for pulling posts, but it sure helped for driving around in here and not rutting everything up. But uh, we did make it all the way down to about there where the, uh, the junk pile is. And uh, that'll be in a different video. We'll come back and we'll start cleaning that out. But I, before I do that, I'll have to get a dumpster. I wanna get a dumpster here so I can throw all that uh, plastic pipe and stuff that's in there in the dumpster. I know I'm gonna have people tell me I should just cover it up and bury it. And uh, you know, that's what a lot of people would do out here in the country, but when you're on YouTube and you're putting it out there to the world, that's a good way to get a fine or have the EPA come to your house. So as, as uh, transparent as, as we are here showing the world everything we're doing, definitely can't just go bury that and cover it up. So. We'll get it all dug out of there and get it cleaned up properly. But uh, I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.